for newly released autopsies underscore the brutality of North Carolina's deadliest prison escape attempt last October, the victims were savagely and repeatedly assaulted, apparently with scissors and hammers. The reports confirm much of what authorities have said about the deadly attacks at Pasqua Tank Correctional Institution. One victim was stabbed more than 65 times, reports show. Another suffered a large gaping wound to the neck. And two were left with fractures to the head and face. On Friday, BNC. Office of the Chief Medical Examiner released the autopsies for prison sewing plant manager Veronica Darden, maintenance worker Jeffrey Howe and correctional officers Justin Smith and Wendy Shannon. The attacks led to the reassignment of Pasqua tank supervisors, the resignation of a sewing plant manager Veronica Darden and CDPS top state prison official and a damning federal assessment of safety at Pasqua tank and another prison. Maintenance worker Jeffrey Howe and CDPS prosecutors have announced that they will seek the death penalty against the four inmates charged in the attacks, Wise Isaac Buckman, Mikkel Brady, Seth Frazier and Jonathan Monk. An officer Justin Smith and CDPS the inmates, who all worked in the prison sewing plant, assaulted prison employees on October 12 as part of a failed escape attempt, authorities have said. Prison officer Wendy Shannon and CDPS a report by the National Institute of Corrections found that staff shortages and glaring security failures allowed inmates at Pasqua Tank sewing plant to roam freely with easy access to dangerous tools. Prison staff had allowed inmates to wander through doors that should have been locked and had let them turn a staff room into a hiding place that was concealed from security cameras, according to the federal report. Inmates even checked out their own tools, including hammers and scissors with six-inch blades. Investigators believe the inmates started a fire in the storage room to divert attention from their scheme. The prisoners then fought their way down an elevator, past an outside loading dock and over several interior prison fences before officers caught them, according to an inmate disciplinary report. There was no camera near the elevator where the first attack began, the federal report says. According to the federal report, an inmate at the sewing plant, not a prison staff member, routinely issued tools to his fellow prisoners. The tools were kept in unlocked cabinets and the inmates were allowed to use them without direct supervision. State officials have shut down Pasqua Tank's sewing plant and have taken a number of other steps to improve prison safety. Among other things, prison officials are, black small square buying stab resistant undershirts and personal body alarms for staff members, black small square installing new surveillance video cameras. Black Small Square using technology to detect and block calls from contraband cell phones, devices that inmates can use to plot and carry out crimes. Black Small Square frisking almost everyone who enters prisons Black Small Square buying batons for officers and medium security prisons. Black Small Square creating a new security unit that will develop safety training and ensure regular safety audits at all prisons. Off 704-358-6038